Welcome ladies and gentlemen to an A to Z tutorial for Necromunda under Hive Wars' gang customization and creation process. My name's Isaac Hydra and let's smash this new gang button and go ahead and run through the entire process. So if we kick things off by looking at the new gang screen, we can see we have House Escher over on the left hand side here, House Goliath in the middle and House Orlock on the right. Now I'm not going to go through every single one of these numbers telling you exactly what I think of all of them. This is just an outline of how to create a gang, but it's safe to say that the house perk and the bonus stats apply to every single member of your gang. So something really worth noting as it will have a large impact on your playstyle. Now, I really like House Escher. They're my favorite, so that's what I'm going to be building today. In particular, I love the skill which applies poisons based on melee hits, which makes, well, them whacking you back more expensive for them. So, hey, you can swing it in melee a little bit. So we're going to go with a custom gang instead of a starter gang, which is to say we're going to do it ourselves rather than to go with a template. Now, you can also generate random names, which is pretty cool. Poison Crew sounds good to me, but of course you can type your own in. But OK, well, we're now Ravens mm, Tunnel Creepers. Much better. OK, custom gang. Let's get the show on the road. And here we are in the hideout screen. Now, if you're here for the first time, you will get a little pop up tutorial telling you what to click. But if you skip through that and then are regretting your choices in life, then click on crew management because simply put, you do not have a crew yet. And when you click on this, you're going to realize you don't have anything to do in the crew screen other than to click on recruitment because, well, you're going to need a leader first and you must recruit a leader first. So as soon as you click this, it will throw a leader at you. Now we have some choices in front of us when it comes to the leader. So by clicking on the leader in the top right here, you can see that you don't have a choice of ranks. This is because the starting rank for the leader has basically rank five from the off. So what this means, well, we'll come to that in a minute when we come to perks. When it comes to recruiting the other gangers, you will have a choice as to how much you want to spend on them and how good they are. But we're just going to go with the leader, which is the only thing you can choose. And then we're going to choose a career for them. So we have Deadeye, we have Brawler, we have Heavy, we have Saboteur and we have Lay Mechanic. Now, the names sort of do what they they do what they say on the tin. The lay mechanic fixes things. The saboteur sabotages things. The heavy has a heavy gun. The brawler likes to brawl and the dead eye. Well, has a grapnel vine as well and is a little bit more shooty orientated, you could say. Well, at least mobility orientated, which is pretty cool. So for my Escher leader, I'm going to go with a saboteur. Main reason being that I like the bonus agility, willpower and alertness that comes with this. So we're going to go ahead and choose this career. And obviously that bonus to agility will go on top of my previous bonus for being in House Escher. Therefore, I have 17 agility, which gives me plus 17 percent chance to avoid melee and ranged attacks, which is awesome. And as well as that, we have pretty high willpower and pretty decent melee. Now, if you want a very brief overview as to what these stats do, agility is effectively evasion. Strength is melee penetration, so how well you get through armor and how likely you are to stun by mitigating stun resist. Toughness is more healing received and critical resistance. Willpower is resistance to stress and debuffs. Intelligence is ranged penetration, which is a pretty cool stat, as well as experience bonus per mission, which is cool. Alertness increases your chance to deflect hits, reducing the amount of damage they do by quite a lot. And obviously the initiative order. Melee prowess is a chance of dealing proper hits instead of grazing hits to an enemy, which is very relevant because when you do a grazing hit, it doesn't do a lot. And uh, the chance to avoid an enemy evasion. Same for ranged as to melee, but obviously with a ranged weapon and accuracy is critical hit chance. So there you go. Now for the really exciting stuff, and there is a lot more customization soon, but we're going to go for this face. That looks a little bit like, could that be Eva Green? No, not really, not at all. I'm thinking of Azaleb, but I can't think anyway. Um, so now we can choose what they look like. We can choose them to be a little bit more chunky. We can go very, very slender. Now, I want the agility bonus, despite the fact that it makes me look a little bit on the weedy side. But hey, I could be a catwalk bottle. Strength is pretty cool. It's not a melee character, though. So we're going to go agility because that puts our agility even higher. It's why we're already on 17, because it started with agility. Then we can make her, oh, we'll go for observant. So she's going to have lots and lots of alertness as well. And it increases the max alertness too, which is pretty useful. It's something you can aim for. Now we could go for melee prowess here. 
She's, she's, she's looking pretty reasonable for a melee fighter still, even though she's currently carrying a flamer. Sure, we're going to have a melee saboteur. Why not? We, you could do whatever you like. So we're going to hire this fighter by holding the button down here. There is a fighter. Now, let me run through the process again. And this time it's going to be a little bit more swanky because we're going to recruit a competent juve. And this is going to cost us tree fiddy. And we have 500 left in total, so we started with 650. Obviously, we spent 150 on the leader. Now, now we're going to be spending tree fiddy on a competent juve. So we're going to go ahead and recruit. And they do come with an injury. Now, this varies depending on your recruitment. So if I change class, you might find that disappears. So this is, as far as I can tell, a little bit randomly generated, which is pretty cool. So we're going to go with a heavy because I think, no, we're going to go with a brawler. We're going to go with a brawler because I think brawlers are cool. So firstly, we need to change the weapon. Well, no, 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 not firstly. Firstly, we need to do some face things. Um, miserable, miserable, content, curious. We'll go with curious. Uh, we're back to having an injury again. But, oh, hey, we'll, we'll just cope with having the injury for the sake of science. So now we're going to click on this fighter and I'm going to show you what you can do with your 500 experience. So we're going to need to go to the next screen because there's not much to do on here other than rename her or lay her off. We could promote her to leader after a bit of experience, but for now, this is pretty much all we can do. Other than point out that we don't have a virtue, vice or talent yet, they develop randomly after you reach rank five. We're currently rank one. And let me show you on that note how to rank up. Now, what these things do, well, they're random. And who knows what they could be? It could be being immune to injuries for a certain body type. It could be that you're incredibly stubborn and you can't disengage anymore. It could be anything. I haven't actually seen the disengage one. That was just a guess. Right, so we go to stats now, and this is where we level up. We look in the top left side of the screen here, there are two empty circles. That means you need to buy two things in order to reach the next rank. So we're rank zero right now. I want to have better melee prowess, so we'll buy two of them. And now I've ranked up to rank one. So I'm a little bit closer to unlocking my first random thing as well. Now, why do you want to do that? Well, because the first active and passive slot. Yes, that's right. You get it at rank one. Another at rank two, three, four, five. The leader starts off with all available, so you can start kitting them out pretty quickly with lots of actives and passives, which makes them cool, but you're going to have to get some experience for them to do that. So just before I buy some more things, I'm going to go ahead and up this a little bit. We'll go for a little bit more agility, and that'll do for now. So now we're another rank. We can go on the perk screen and start going for some passives. Now I'm going to go for Enrage. There's lots to choose from. You can go from your brawler specific ones, your gang specific ones, or your juice specific ones. Now it doesn't seem like there's loads, but there is a fair choice enough. And I would say all of them seem to have a use, unlike many situations I've seen where the majority of skills don't do anything. Most of them in the scene to, seem to do something notable. So Daunting Presence, for example, makes it harder for the people to disengage from you. You've got Fury, which makes it harder for enemies to avoid your hits. We go to another screen. Let's go Chem Chaser. 20% stress resistance after you've used a support consumable. And you can have ooh, all sorts of things here. All sorts of things. I'm going to go for a little bit of Galvanize because that's pretty cool. So bypasses melee evasion. Basically, after you've done an Intimidation, Carry or Warcry, you bypass the enemy's chance of dodging. So that's cool. We're going to go for that because, funnily enough, I'm going to go for Intimidation because this is really cool. Plus 35% chance, uh, cost rather, to all tactical skills. Now, is there anything better than that? I actually think there is. Uh, where are you? You're here somewhere. And there, there's some really cool ones. I, I like Intimidation. So it basically means enemies are going to have a hard time doing tactical skills near you. We'll cover that in the gameplay video so actually what that is. Uh, we're going to go for... OK, we'll go for this, which is Terrorize. So enemies are less likely to hit in melee, 35% around you or with a ranged attack, provided they're within 10 meters of you. That's pretty reasonable, though. So we'll go for that. Job done. So we'll go and have another look here. Daunting Presence. What does that do? Plus five. Disengage. Nah. We'll go for Enrage. Now, if you want to upgrade a skill, let's go back to Enrage. You'll see you have some prerequisites down here. We'll need eight toughness in order to spend 50 to upgrade that again. So if we go to our toughness, upgrade that to eight. There we go. Now we've got an extra slot as well. So we could be here a little while, but I'm not going to do all of this. 
that will <laughs> that will probably do for now. Okay, and then we've upgraded this. Now, you're probably asking, okay, well, what else can I do, Hydra? And it, it's also worth pointing out on the leader that you have access to a lot more different skills. Now, I'm not going to sit here and go through all of them, although I'm sure many of you want me to, so you can sort of pick away and see exactly what's in the game. That's for another video when we go through the skills. But for now, we're going to need to equip people differently because that doesn't look like an Escher fighter to me. So we'll go to equipment here, click on the weapon. We're going to stick that in the stash with the Q button. Click on the empty weapon, click change with E, and then we're going to go for, I'm going to look at, let's see the difference between a spud jacker and a massive axe. Oh no, a spud jacker and a sword. They're both one handed at least. So sword has stun 15, crit chance 15, hit precision 15. They're quite interesting to me. And of course, 31 average damage. Okay, well, let's look at the spud jacker. Aha, 50% stun chance. That'll do me very nicely. Oh, thank you very much. A little bit less damage, but that's fine. I can spud jack people. So we're going to also give her a auto pistol for the Dacker. So now we've got Dacker and Wacker confirmed. And you also notice some of the characters come with some free equipment. So these, these uh, this lovely bruiser will come with 45% damage resistance on both arms as a as a passive effectively. So we can also check out injuries. Your fighter has been injured. So here you can see your collection of injuries and you can see what it is. There will be times where you can buy sort of things to mitigate injuries such as cybernetics. And some of them won't be permanent and some of them can be mitigated by certain things but we'll cover that in another video now customization pretty important and exciting so firstly change our skin tone slightly we'll go for a bit of that and we'll go change our tattoos for yep i like that one straps cool okay what if, what if you don't like the color of the tattoos okay we'll go there we'll change the color of the tattoos we'll go for Oof, that's a horrible color scheme. So if you don't like the color palettes on here, the presets, you click on the right hand side to advanced and then you can pick the exactly the color you like. We're going to clash all over the damn show and you can just do whatever you like here. And, and you could spend a lot of time doing this. You can go ahead and do I like those boots. Oof, where are we going to stop? Yeah, that's kind of cool. Show off a bit of the Mathai tap. Right, there we go change our definitely bullets on the back that's where you want them okay and then we go back now what you can do is apply to gang ta-da and now everyone in my gang unfortunately save and continue looks as disastrous as i do now there is another way of customizing your visuals for the gang just by clicking gang customization now i actually have a gang and you can just do all here you can change your name you can change the hair we'll go for that looks pretty horrendous, so we'll go for that. And you can change again. General appearance here. Good lord, that is disgusting. Let's go with that. And of course, this wouldn't be Necromunda if you couldn't choose the exact colours of your guns as well. So there is a ridiculous amount of customization in this, down to even the patterns on the weapons themselves. Two-handed weapon. Let's see. We'll go for that and we'll go for... It says dragon scales, but oh yeah, the big scales and sideways. Okay. I'm I'm down. Okay, no, we'll go for we'll go for, cat, for yeah, sure. There you go, job done. Uh, no, I don't. I need to keep my changes. There we go. Right now, I've offended everyone's eye sockets. I hope you have enjoyed this <laughs> tutorial and overview of the gang creation process. After you have recruited your fighters, and it is worth mentioning at this point, you will have enough money to recruit three or four, depending if you want one of them to be experienced. So the way I've done this. Effectively, I can afford three because I spent three fiddy on one of my characters. If I hadn't have done so and I've recruited a cheap one, I would start with four. Do I have a recommendation for you? No. Do whatever you want to do and have fun. That's priority. Now, you could go to the shop. However, you have to play two missions first before you can go dibbling and dabbling around in the shop. You will notice that when you start, you will have some provisions within your starting equipment. So that's worth noting because you don't have to have exactly what you start with and you will have enough stuff, add provisions, we can add some jolt seed into my backpack by pressing E here. So there you go, you can equip your characters in terms of their, their backpacks to give them spare weapons that they will have access to. It will cost you some action economy, but that's what you can do. I absolutely love it. Hope you found this interesting. There will be more videos coming from me on this in the next few days. Next, I'm probably going to do a combat overview 
over the weekend and give you guys a little run through on how to play the game and then we're going to go into some sample builds etc hopefully have that with you very soon if you're not subscribed and liking this video already smash the like button comments do all the things down below in the comments i will see you guys soon take care